Hello and welcome to this educational video. I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at BLK Super Speciality Hospital New Delhi and at Children's Chest Clinic New Delhi. So in this video we'll be talk about uh, we'll be talking about common manifestations of uh, airway foreign body in children and in the subsequent videos we'll be talking about how to retrieve a foreign body if you find one. So in this video, we'll talk about how to suspect a foreign body aspiration in children and what are the usual clinical or radiological signs which are seen. So we'll be discussing three cases. So this first case was an 18 months old boy who was eating peanuts and choked and this was followed by respiratory distress. Now, when this child came to us on examination, we found that air entry was reduced to the left side and there was a monophonic wheeze which was present. Now, uh, when we did the X-ray, we could, we could find that there was a hyperinflation on the left side of the lung and the right side appeared to be relatively normal. Now, if you have a reduced air entry on the left side and you have a hyperinflation on the left side, then usually the foreign body would be on the left side and most probably in the left main bronchus and because it forms a ball valve mechanism where the air can enter into uh, inspiration but because the airway collapses during expiration the air cannot come out and that is the commonest radiological manifestation which is seen and this child underwent a bronchoscopy and the foreign body was retrieved from the left main bronchus so that is the commonest presentation that we would see now Let's look at another child who is one year old, has cough, has noisy breathing, and has respiratory distress for the past one month. This child does not have any fever. Now, there's some past history of choking after a cucumber, and that is a bit weird because usually children does not choke with soft uh, material. Uh, so that's a bit unlikely, but there is a definite history. But now this child got admitted three times, received antibiotics, received bronchodilators, but the parents were sure that this child does not remain well. This child persists to have noisy breathing even in between. And that is something which is extremely important to know. Now, we have a set of three x-rays done on this child at various points of time. Now, if you look at them casually, then all these x-rays can be termed as normal. There is no area of atonic places which can be seen. There is no differential hyperinflation which is seen on either side. But if you look at these x-rays carefully, then all these x-rays have flattened diaphragms and large lung fields and they are, they are appearing slightly more black than normal. So these findings can be consistently seen in all these three x-rays. So which means that there is a generalized hyperinflation which is seen. Now in such situations in a child, when it is an acquired thing which has happened, there's a persistent hyperinflation and persistent signs on examination. Uh, definitely this child warrants a bronchoscopy. And when the bronchoscopy was done, it showed a foreign body in the trachea. It was a piece of a nut and which we removed with flexible bronchoscopy. So the question is that can we have normal x-rays with foreign body aspiration? So the answer is definitely yes. In 30% of children, the x-rays can be normal. Why? Because one, uh, sometimes a larger foreign body, which is larger than the size of the bronchus, lodges into the trachea but cannot actually enter into the main bronchus. And hence, it does not lead to formation of a ball valve or a stop valve type of a mechanism. The other mechanism could be a small foreign body which loses into any of the segmental bronchi. And because the rest of the lung is open and it does not lead to formation of a ball valve, the x-rays appear to be normal, but the child would for sure be symptomatic. So that's important. So normal x-rays do not rule out a foreign body aspiration. Now, when we did a bronchoscopy, the foreign body was found in the trachea and it was removed with a flexible bronchoscopy. So this child actually had a monophonic wheeze and that is the most important thing, that this child had persistent signs on examination which made us suspicious. Now, this is the third child, so three years old girl who had cough and respiratory distress for the past three to four weeks, had mild fever and the chest x-ray to the pediatrician was appearing to be a consolidation and this child was hence started on uh, Comoxiclay for, for two weeks and was asked to follow. Now in, in follow-up, the child again was otherwise well, had reduced air entry, but the radiological shadows were same. 
Now at this time, uh, the pediatrician got suspicious that there is something else which is going along. The child was referred to us and on, on looking at this x-ray, it appears that this, this border is quite sharp. So it may not actually just be a consolidation, it is actually a collapse and it is a collapse of the middle and lower lobe together. So it is a combined atelectasis. Now, if it is a combined atelectasis, then it is easy to understand that it has to be an obstruction to the intermediate bronchus, which, which splits and forms the middle lobe bronchus and the lower lobe bronchus. So this is either something inside the intermediate bronchus, something compressing the intermediate bronchus, uh, and hence this child will deserve a bronchoscopy. And when, when bronchoscopy was done, uh, it showed a large piece of rajma in the intermediate bronchus, which was removed. So let's summarize uh, the clinical findings of a foreign body aspiration in children. So the usual clinical findings uh, are witnessing a choking event. So that's very important to understand that in 84% in, in, in of patients who have approved foreign body in the airway, 80% will have choking event. So you have to elicit this history and if that is present, you cannot leave this child. Cough is present in 90% of more or children. Fever can be there in some. Low saturation and dyspnea can be there in some. Localized decreased breath sounds is, is something, again, which is extremely important to pick up. Localized wheeze is, again, something which is quite important to pick up. Localized crackles can be there. Uh, but sometimes the auscultation can be normal, especially with a foreign body, which is very small in size. Now, if we look at the radiological manifestation, then as we have shown uh, in the first child that localized air trapping is something which is very commonly seen because of formation of a ball valve, where air can enter into the bronchus during inspiration, but cannot get out in during expiration. And localized atelectasis can be seen, and we have seen this in the third case. They can be localized infiltrates, they can be a mediastinal shift, they can be a radiopaque foreign body, and we'll show you, to, uh, show you a radiopaque foreign body in the next video but x-rays can be normal in 26% of children. So that's important to know that x-rays can be normal in a child who has a foreign body aspiration. So the take home messages are that consider foreign body aspiration in children who present to you with as history of aspiration, history of choking, history of unilateral signs. So if you find any unilateral signs that reduced air entry or monophonic V's on one side, then be suspicious of a foreign body. Or if you have a child who is wheezy, but does not improve in the due course of time with your treatment. So if you, if you think it is a viral wheeze, you have treated this child with steroids and bronchodilators, but this child doesn't seem to respond, then do think in terms of a foreign body aspiration. So uh, we'll have two more videos on foreign body aspiration. The second video will deal on the chronic or long-term manifestation of a, of a missed or a forgotten foreign body. And in the third video, we'll briefly discuss how a foreign body can be retrieved from the air. So thank you very much.